back at it again. All right, this time we're uh, we're messing with the Impala. I got it on stock wheels right now, and uh, so we're gonna throw on our <clears throat> the 72 spoke cross laced low rider wheels on right now. So, all right, so uh, I'll talk talk to you a little bit about that. But before we actually throw them on, we're gonna clean them up. I'm gonna show you guys what to use. Um, I'm gonna show you guys uh, how to clean the white wall. That <laughs> gotta keep them clean. Gotta keep them clean. So um, I'm gonna show you guys the products I use, and uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to mount them on the on the vehicle itself. All right, because a uh, a lot of people may not know how to put them on, um, which side goes where, uh, which adapter goes on which side. So I'll explain a little bit about all that and. Um, how I mount mine up. So I uh, hope uh, this helps out. Let's get into it. Here are the wheels right here and i was trying to actually do this during the day because um it's dark now camera sucks in the dark anyways um all right first off to clean the wheels uh, as you guys can see they're spokes they're hard to keep clean especially with calipers uh, regular rotors and uh, brake pads um, the drums are i have drums in the back of the car so they don't get as dirty as the front ones all right so with that being said you got all the the brake dust in the bag that sits in there and <coughs> gets it all dirty. See, this wheel was one of the front ones that I had. As you guys can see right there, look at all the brake dust. You see? So we're going to get all that off before we install them. And um, I don't want them to start rusting. And, you know, keep them clean. Kept them inside. So you got the custom logo. All right. The multiple piece uh, adapter, spinner, as you, you guys want to call it. So uh, I'll show you guys once we install them how all that works and um, they're cross laced um, I've always wanted the cross laced ones 72 spoke so uh, let's go ahead and uh, clean them up all right so this is what I use I've always used this one for the longest um, there was actually a wire wheel cleaner uh, made by Eagle one as well so I use this they got so many different liquids now so if you guys want to send me some hey feel free to do so you know so I could try them on the wheels and um, hopefully it works out better but this is what I use and um, what I do I'll, I'll rinse them off a bit then spray it and let it sit for a little bit kind of brush it get everything completely off and then just rinse it off make sure everything's off of it I'll completely rinse it off with the, you know that this fluid because it, it really burns through it and stuff so um, make sure you keep that clean all right let's go ahead and uh, head and clean it off I use um, for mothers for the wheels see just kind of brush it a little bit since it's pretty stuck on there so uh, rinse it up a little bit and, and clean it off guys what y'all think looks good somewhat <laughs> all right so that's what it looks like pretty cleaned up show you the back side <clears throat> yeah look at that nice and clean all right so let's go ahead and uh do all the rest of them and uh then we'll get them all uh mounted up also let's uh go ahead and do the the white wall as well real quick I'll show you what I use all right so for the white walls I use this right here SOS pad it's the best 
the best. You don't need a brush, you don't need any, anything. Just a little sponge. <clears throat> it's got like a product on there that just whitens that white wall. Super clean. All right, I'll go ahead and I'll show you guys. That's what it looks like right now. Hopefully you guys can tell it's a bit yellowish. All right, it's a little wet. Usually for this, I use a bucket. <clears throat> you see, I have like a, a water bucket here. Get it wet a little bit. Just start going to town with it. There it is. Look how white that leaves it. Super clean. Yep. <clears throat> this is what a whitewash should look like. All right, after you clean them up, make sure you dry them up because you don't want to leave them wet. If, if you have like a blower or something, be better off. Um, just to not leave them wet because that's, that's how they usually rust, you know? And um, just kind of clean them up as best as you could. Alright, so, sucks how you can't really get into there, you know, but just as best as you can, you know. There it goes. And see, I actually like using like a Windex type deal, so, um, which actually can use them up really, really good. Just looks so shiny and so nice. There it is, getting them all cleaned up. Dried up, there it is. All right, I'll show you what I use to actually clean them off like with the Windex and just finish them off really, really good. All right, so this is what I use to polish them up and leave them super clean afterwards. All right, is a Hydro View. It's, it's for glass, you know, but um, it comes with like a ceramic coating and protectant, so um, it, it works pretty good. All right, so all I do is just spray it on there, just a nice light coat, and just go through the whole wheel and clean it all up, you know. Start taking all the, the haze off of them, and uh, does a pretty good job. <clears throat> All right, let me clean it up and I'll show you guys the end result. All right, so there it is, guys. Before and after. <laughs> yeah. All right, I haven't done these just to kind of do a comparison, but that's this is the end result right here. That's what it looked like right there. What y'all think? It's good. Real, real, real clean. All around. All right. So see, that's what that, that fluid. That ceramic coating does for glass cleaner. Cleans them all up and just, man, it's so nice. See, I use paper towels because I didn't have any freaking newspaper, but the newspaper actually absorbs all the, the grease and stuff, you know? So that, I, I love it a lot. Uh, I, actually, I love that a lot better. It gives it a better result and result. So, yep, that's it right there, guys. All right, well. Hope this helped out. We ran out of time and um, I won't be installing them tonight, but I'm gonna put up uh, another video, y'all. Make sure y'all stay tuned for that. And um, I'll actually post a link to it at the end of this video. So, um, hope this helped out. Keep those folks clean. Keep them rolling, baby. Till next time.